All right, guys. Welcome to Demo Day. If you are just joining us, I am Gina. I'm the Partner Success Manager here at Rev Genius, and I am so incredibly happy to introduce Story Lane. Please welcome Jackson Eldridge, Account Executive with Story Lane, who's going to take us through their product. Over to you, Jackson. Awesome. Thank you, Gina. As she said, I'm Jackson Eldridge, founding account executive here at Storylane. Um, since we only have 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and share my screen and get started. All right. Okay, to start, want to share some um, some some slides, kind of talking about what are interactive demos level set and then walk through the agenda for the next 10 minutes. So interactive demos, what are they? They are self-serve demo experiences that can take buyers through top of uh, through the top features and use cases in your product. They're immersive and interactive. So demo viewers, they're not passively engaging like watching a video. They are actively engaging every step along the way and then driving action in the platform by clicking and going through different commands. And these interactive demos can be built with screenshots, HTML, or video clips. Um, you know, to to compare uh, interactive demos to other formats in tech, you know, compared to a loom or, or video demo viewers, they're going to be driving the action instead of passively watching. And there's more control and exploration by choosing various demo chapters, branching paths, and clicking through the product. Um, comparing to a digital adoption platform, you don't need to be logged into your software to see the guided steps. Clone demo experiences can be embedded to a web page or shared via link, and they can be viewed asynchronously outside of your platform. And then compared to a live demo environment, Storyline demos don't require engineering upkeep or data cleansing. Um, they can be data rich and personalized without work from your technical counterparts. So great for go-to-market teams, um, you know, sellers and, and marketers. Now think about some top use cases for interactive demos in Storyline. <clears throat> in the marketing use case, these can be embedded to, uh, these interactive product tours can be embedded to your website to convert top of funnel leads and give them a way to demo the product without having to talk to sales. Um, you can send demos and email campaigns to nurture leads and customers. Uh, for the sales use cases, uh, very common to provide like clickable sandbox demos for live calls handing off to your reps. Um, demo leave behinds to recap your, your top use cases for champion enablement and then micro demos for sales outreach. And then think about customer success training and documentation. These can be um, uh, these guided demos can be embedded into your documentation center or LMS and they can help consolidate those one to one live training calls uh, with those self serve uh, guided demos. So looking at the agenda for the next 10 minutes, we're going to capture some product screens using Storylines plugin. We're going to build out a guided demo in less than five minutes. Then we're going to look at the difference between um, screenshot demos and then our HTML demos, how to capture demo screens with HTML and use our no-code editor to uh, edit and manipulate the content. And then we're going to show a sandbox demo and a demo leave behind built in HTML. So getting right into it, I'm going to go to Mercury's banking platform. This is my example demo environment. I'm going to be opening up the Storyline plugin, create new demo, and I'm going to start capturing screenshots. After this countdown, Storyline is going to be tracking all my clicks, creating screenshots, showing page transitions, and taking a video file of the whole session. So I'm going to click through as I normally would in my workflow. I'm going to enter a customer account, Google. And then up in the top right, you can see the Storyline plugin says six screens already. I'm going to finish capturing, and it's going to show me a, uh, a preview of my various steps. So it's going to insert a mock title card and then place a hotspot on every click and then show those page transitions. So I'm going to jump into the editor. So now here in Storyline's demo builder, we have our flow builder here on the right-hand side. So the plugin automatically sequences the steps number one through nine, and then I can click in here and start adapting the content. So I'm gonna say, welcome to Mercury. Then on step two, we are actually clicking in the product. We are clicking on the home button. I'm going to use a backdrop and spotlight to put a vignette around the feature of interest and make it a clickable area. Then I'll go here to write my content. I'm gonna say homepage. I can use AI Assist to help me generate content faster. So from that short prompt, I can write, write a larger guide, decide to revise it, and then I'll use that version of the prompt. Also have the option for adding voiceover. So here on the left-hand side, I can record this in application, or I can generate the voiceover using AI in a number of different languages and accents. I'm gonna play the preview. I'm not sure if it's gonna come through the microphone, but we'll see. So now we have the written element, the audio element. One more touch I like to add to make it a little bit more cinematic and engaging is going to be our track and zoom. So the blue outline is showing the new outline of the screen. It's going to zoom in to focus the viewer's attention. Also has that cinematic pull in, pull out effect. So that's step number two. Then to step number three, I could drag this to a diff different element. I'm going to swap out my guide type and just a quick look at the different guide types you can use to tell your story. You have your hotspot, tooltip, media modal, text modal, or lead form. I'm going to swap out to a tooltip, set my drop shadow, add my messaging. I'll say money graph. And then I also have the option for adding like a talking head explanation. So I'm gonna go here to add video. 
and then record a quick blurb similar to a loom. And I'll say, hey, here's more explanation about feature XYZ. I'm going to end the recording and save it to that step. Very nice. And then ideally at the end of the demo, we are going to present a call to action. Let's say ready to see a personalized demo. Question mark. And then for this button, I'm going to relabel the call to action button to book demo. And I'm going to link it out to my demo booking page URL right here. So within a couple of minutes, here's what we built out. I'm going to publish. I'll drop the share link into the chat. So you can click through on your own monitor. And then I'll just click through, click through a quick preview to show you the, the added animations, the voiceover. So we've got our, mic, our title card. Then we've got a video clip inserted of me showing out the type out of searching my customer, customer account Google. So you can show video clips in between steps. And then at the end, we have our call to action step. So that's a look at building out a screenshot based demo. I want to touch on the key differences when you go from screenshot to HTML. So a quick look at some of our customers. Here's an example from our client Gong. They have a demo built in HTML. The first difference with HTML demos is that it's going to be a fully scrollable web page, and it's going to retain the styling and interactivity of your platform. So this is a guided demo, just like the one that I built out. But um, you can see it's highlighting the, uh, the styling, and then I can go through that same guided demo format, and it's a fully scrollable web page. The other key difference, if we look at another example from our customer Qubit, is that you can do sandbox demoing. So instead of being told where to click in a specific order, I can now launch into an HTML replica of my, of my platform that is data rich and interactive. So I can hand this off to an account executive to handle an early sales call instead of having to pull in a solutions consultant. I can also hand this off to a customer like a, customer like a semi uh, trial environment. And it's great because you don't have to give them full platform access and you can control which dashboards and elements are available to them in the sandbox. So if I try to click on this dropdown, Qubit's saying, hey, Jackson, that element isn't available right now, but here's where you can explore. So those are the uh, key differences. And then when you go to build out uh, an HTML demo, you have a lot of control when it comes to the content. So I'm gonna reopen the Storylane plugin. I'm back in Mercury, but this time I'm gonna capture using HTML. Instead of the automatic countdown, we're gonna have a capture tool here at the bottom and I'll just capture one HTML screen. So the screen goes opaque for about two to three seconds while the plugin is creating the replica screen back into Storylane. All right. We've got our first demo screen. I'll finish capturing and go back into Storylane's demo builder. But now since we're working with HTML, we have two modes to work in, the edit mode and the guide mode. So now with HTML, I can click into any of these elements and change that from 5 million to 500 million. I'll relabel this from credit card to debit card. Really easy to swap out images, logos, and graphs like this Mercury logo. I'll swap it out for a Storylane logo. I can blur and anonymize data. And I can also do bulk editing. So if we have a reoccurring account name or, uh, or account number, like my customer Google, I'm going to replace with fictional customer Acme. And I found two matches across the entire page. So I can update all the screens at once. Okay, so we can anonymize data, we can personalize it. And then thinking about equipping a sales team with demo templates they can spin off to any sales call or prospect, that's gonna be through tokenizing. So um, here in my demo environment, instead of welcome Jane, I'm gonna replace Jane with a first name token. Instead of Mercury balance, I can replace that with company name token. I can swap out the Mercury logo for my prospects logo. That way, um, when my salesperson is prepping for a call, they don't have to go to the solutions consultant and say, hey, please pipe in this custom demo data for me. They can take it, uh, take it uh, upon themselves to do that. So with our final two minutes, I wanna show an example of what the sandbox demo and, and spinning off a demo leave behind would look like. So I'm here in my Storylane workspace and I have this template called HTML product tour. So even being like a non-technical person, a sales rep, I'm gonna go here to the share modal. Let's say I have an upcoming call and I'm going to create a new link for my customer Jackson at Storylane. So I'm gonna spin off a custom link for this template. I'm gonna tag it to Jackson's email so all the analytics flow back into the CRM. Like if I send it to Jackson, I can see he made it 80% of the way through and that will flow back into Salesforce or HubSpot. Now here's where that sales uh, person can personalize the demo experience. So we have the personalized tab. I'm gonna drop in Jackson for the first name token. I'm gonna drop in Storylane for the company name token. I have a, a custom token called product underscore one. They're a software company, so I'm going to say SaaS, and then I've got their logo uploaded. And thinking about champion enablement, you're going to you're going to be sending this to your champion that is going to be circulating it around different uh, different buyers in, in the in the committee in the uh, different stakeholders in the buying committee. So I'm going to set up a demand requirement. So I'm going to say that only 
Demo viewers with the matching storyline.io domain can view this demo. I can block other domains and require authentication through email. And I also have the option to set up an expiration date. So, hey, Jackson, you only have one week to view this demo. So I send it off to Jackson. Let's say hypothetically, he shares it to his boss, Nolan. So Nolan enters his email to go through the lead form. It matches the domain, allows him into the demo. But now we're also getting demo analytics about what Nolan has viewed on this demo. So I'm presented with a product tour menu. I can go through a guided demo, but let's take a look at our demo environment. It's personalized to Storyline. Welcome Jackson, Storyline Balance, logo up in the top left. And then I can go through these guided demo tours. And I'm recapping those top features and, and understanding the platform that was covered on the live call or I can go into a sandbox. So I'm gonna to go to explore the platform and freely launch around the product and explore the different interfaces and get a look and feel for it. And of course I have my call to action down here in the bottom right, book a demo. That's gonna prompt me to go to the next step in the buying cycle. So that is a quick look at Storylane for building out screenshot guided demos, also live sandboxes, um, demo leave behinds, and a real quick, uh, some resources if you're interested. I'm gonna drop in my meeting link. And if you go to our plans page, we do have transparent pricing. When you go with the annual plan, you save 20%, but for uh, Demo Day viewers from Rev Genius, you get an additional 20% if you opt in from here. So feel free to book a call, um, explore further, look forward to talking with you. That's awesome, man. What a great product, right guys? Um, so thank you so much, Jackson. That was Storyline for you. And now it's time for Fullcast next. We'll see you guys in the next session. Thanks again, Jackson. Yep. Thanks, everybody.